The Force is with you, young Skywalker. But you are not a Jedi yet. Darth Vader was no joke to the galaxy. Feared as one of the most dangerous and powerful sorcerers to many non-Force users next to the Emperor, his robotic implants led to his distinguished and feared presence. Having done many videos on Vader's injuries and how he felt about them, I'd like to cover this short topic regarding what the buttons on a central control box were used for. Despite being the fallen Anakin Skywalker, it's known that he was unable to fulfill his potential as a Sith Lord due to his mechanical limbs. Regardless, he was still extremely powerful, and as a measure to keep the attack dog on a leash if he ever went rogue, Palpatine had a control box of switches conveniently placed on his chest, many of which commanded his suit's functions, while others were so Palpatine had complete and total control over him. Before we get to what the buttons actually do, I'll read you his thoughts about his control box from the book The Rise of Darth Vader. From a control box he wore strapped to his chest, a thick cable entered his torso, linked to a breathing apparatus and heartbeat regulator. The ventilator was implanted in his hideously scarred chest, along with tubes that ran directly into his damaged lungs, and others that entered his throat. So that could the chest plate or belt control panels develop a glitch, he could breathe unassisted for a limited amount of time. But the monitoring panel beeped frequently, and for no reason, and the constellation of lights served only as steady reminders of his vulnerability. The incessant rasp of his breathing interfered with his ability to rest, let alone sleep, and sleep, in the rare moments it came to him, was a nightmarish jumble of twisted, recurrent memories that unfolded to excruciating sounds. The Medroids had at least inserted the redundant breathing tubes low enough so that, with the aid of an enunciator, his scorched vocal cords could still form sounds and words, but absent the enunciator, which imparted a synthetic bass tone, his own voice was little more than a whisper. It is too late for me, son. Let's examine what these buttons actually do. The four switches at the bottom all laid out in the row were his command switches. The one out to the far right controlled the system reset, while the rest of the switches located at the bottom were programming switches depending on what he wanted to have activated more conveniently. Now we'll examine these two buttons here. The red button controlled a manual overdrive of the entire suit, while the blue button activated the auto control functions. The suit's temperature was regulated by a heating unit installed on the back that connects to sensors which ran to the control box. Two shafts located on the left and right of the control box acted as a life function sensor array. His utility belt had three pieces that were responsible for his suit as well. The middle piece that we see was an electromagnetic plate that housed the switch for the release button, but mainly, it gauged how sensitive his mechanical ears would pick up sounds. The other two black boxes with knobs and switches were generally more for respiratory control functions. There was also a class that was a housing unit for a spare energy cell for long missions away from his chamber, as well as a backup comm link and a toolkit for any repairs he needed to make during battle. There was also a button, however, I haven't found any information on which button it is, that controls the sound of his breathing. In The Empire Strikes Back, when Luke is fighting Vader, Vader presses the button on his chest to stop his breathing, making his position unknown to Luke. We also see this in Rogue One at the end. I won't say exactly what for in the case there's anyone here that hasn't seen it, but for those of you who, like me, have seen it, you know which part I'm talking about. Thanks for watching this short video, everyone. Let me know what you'd like to see next, and I'll make it happen. Maybe another fanfiction. Talk to you all in the comments below, and I'll see you all in tomorrow's episode of Star Wars Theory. Until we meet again, remember, the Force will be with you, always. Now, fulfill your destiny.